Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, it's been a while since I've uh, last recorded uh, and put a video out. I mean, a long, long while it's been. Um, life hits really hard sometimes and you just can't get back into stuff. But here I am making another effort to get videos up for y'all and yes the old projects on the channel are coming back uh that includes resident evil 2 um monster hunter worlds all that stuff is coming back um i'm gonna start trying to put out videos daily some days i might not have any out but if not i'll explain it in another video when i get a chance um but uh we're gonna start out fresh um with a full Let's play of the new game that just came out uh, today, technically at 12 o'clock today, or should I say 12 o'clock last night, whatever you want to say, um, of Resident Evil uh, The Village. Um, so, yeah, we're going to do an entire uh, gameplay of this. Um, uh, it might be a break of the fourth wall. It might be broken up to like videos of maybe 30 seconds, maybe hour videos, maybe. But we'll just have to uh, let it go and s see how it works out. But um, other than that, uh, we can. Uh, I'm going to start out by recapping seven, just in case some people haven't played seven, because some people haven't. Some of my viewers haven't. What? So here we go. My name? It's Ethan. Ethan Winters. It's been three years since everything happened at the Baker House. I was looking for my wife, who disappeared. I got an email from her. She told me to come get her. And of course, that's how I ended up in the middle of nowhere, Louisiana. I found Mia being held captive in a dark basement. wasn't thinking right. She attacked me like some kind of wild animal. Later on, I found out that she was infected by a special kind of mold. I looked all over the house trying to find an antidote, a vaccine, anything. The people who lived there were already infected. What was left of them wasn't human. The source of the infection was a bioweapon that looked like a little girl. Her name was Evelyn. I fought the fucked up family and was able to treat Mia's symptoms with a serum. Then Chris Redfield and his soldier buddy showed up and saved the both of us. Is that enough? I really don't want to talk about what happened anymore. It's all over now. That's what you thought. <sighs> we'll play it in standard. Y'all do not understand how excited I am to play this. I've been waiting for it to come out. I pre-ordered it, everything else. <laughs> Sinuses are kind of bothering me tonight. As you can hear, I got sniffles, but... went with her mother to pick berries for her father, who was hard at work. But the forest greeted them with a dark, cold silence, the bushes empty. Yet determined to find the berries, the rascal broke free from mother's grasp and vanished into the trees. Mother's worried cries faded fast as the girl ran on, over vine and under branch, and into the forest deep. Feeling strange eyes upon her, the girl recalled Mother's scary bedtime tales, and her throat became bone dry. Then the Pat Lord appeared. 
he greeted her warmly and bit his own wing. Come, child, quench your thirst, he said. So she drank the thick, dark blood and smiled with joy. Passing through the graveyard, menacing storm clouds loomed, and the air turned bitingly cold. The girl was shivering in her thin clothes. Then a dark weaver appeared, and with a clip of his fingers, crafted mist into a beautiful dress. Come, child, warm yourself, he coaxed. So she clothed herself and smiled with joy. Across waters deep and ominous she went, hoping a boat she found would carry her home. But hunger's grip tightened and her heart grew heavy. Then the fish king appeared and offered one of his many fins. Come, child, eat your fill. So the girl ate and smiled with joy once more. Continuing on, she soon entered the forest's dark heart. Then an iron steed appeared, bearing a beautiful golden gear. The creature said nothing as the girl approached and snatched what she thought was another gift. The horse grew angry and summoned the other monsters. Terror filled the girl's heart as the wild wind rose around the beast. Suddenly, a witch appeared, dark yet regal. Gifts we gave, but more you took, she snarled. So more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. There. She's asleep. What is with the creepy story? She's only six months old. The woman at the store said it was traditional. A local tale. Besides, Rose doesn't seem to mind. Because she doesn't understand it, thank God. We moved here so she wouldn't have to deal with any of that, remember? There's nothing wrong with my memory. You're just being paranoid. It's not... Never mind. I'm sorry. But I'm not paranoid. I'm just cautious. Then, go cautiously take your daughter to bed. I'll finish dinner. doesn't want to remember. I can't blame her. Oh, I'm playing now? Say something. Nothing. I'll put her down. Took forever to pick these wipes. Uh Newcomers in the parenting world. And they're really tough decisions. We can go for a walk. Oh yeah, we will. There will be no fat kids in our family. Do you understand me, Rose? No fat kids. Don't you cry. Don't you cry. Be a big girl. It's like I said to your mom. That book's too scary for you. Too scary for you, my butt. Grow up and act like a rose, like a good little girl. Almost there, honey. No, nope. ain't where I'm going. Okay, well, thanks for the rejection. Like, I needed that in my life. Thing over here I can interact with. Why do I even keep this around? I should get rid of it someday. I don't know, why do you keep it around? <coughs> Gotta do a deep clean before Rose starts walking around. Huh. Curtain closes on the Dolby gas incident. The committee completed their investigation on the 18th into the Dolby 
toxic gas leak in Louisiana in 2017. They con concluded the deaths were caused by a leak of natural gas that had built up in the mud rock under the area. Jake Baker, 57, and his family, who were exposed to the gas, perished. Ethan Winters and his wife were also believed to be have believed to be have been nearby but their current whereabouts are unknown the entire area has been closed off by officials who believe it will be at least 10 years before the area is hab habitable again everyone's forgotten about this already so not where I was supposed to go I'm glad I went that way, though. Excuse me, now this door is automatically open? What? That's some creepy crap. I don't... Uh, uh, Y'all saw me push on this door. It did not open. That's some creepy shit right there. Are you sure your house ain't uh, haunted or something? Somebody in here? Kid. February 6, 2021. Me and I had another fight. I accidentally mentioned what happened three years ago. She blew up at me. We finally settled down in our new life in Europe and can bring Rose up properly. But I still feel like a part of me is trapped in the hellhole back in Louisiana. I know Mia doesn't like to talk about it, but can we really just forget everything and pretend it didn't happen? Shouldn't we face what happened there so we can live our lives with Rose without it hanging over our heads? We owe her that much at least. I know Mia knows this too. She wouldn't have exploded like that at the hospital if she didn't care. Oh yeah. Name. Rosemary Winters. Date of birth. 0208 2020. Height 62.3 centimeters. 24.53 inches. Weight 6.57 kilograms. 14.48 pounds. Screenings. Hearing vision touch reflex test. All results show no issues. Patient is good in good health. Other notes. Results for additional fungal pathogen tests will be provided by BSAA. Applefield Memorial Hospital. Rose is fine. <laughs> well, hi there, little Rose. <laughs> that was a creepy laugh. How does she go right back to sleep right after that? Guns is a heavy firearms manual for... For Phil Combat Situation by Joseph Kendo. By Joseph Kendo. Man, I can't read that fast. <laughs> oh, yeah. I don't like the way those pages crunch. Oh, yeah. I wish it could stay like this forever. Hmm. They keep your mother waiting. She's scary when she's angry. She sure is. Can I pick up these photos? No. Why is this door going to be magically open now all of a sudden? Mia's medicine. She's been on a strict regimen ever since the incident. Where the hell am I going? You'd think the bedroom be up here with all the other bedrooms. Apparently not. You didn't see nothing, Mia. I put the kid down already. Man, I don't know where I'm going. Her birthday will be here before. Rose Food February. Six rice cereal. Banana potpourri. Seventh. Sweet potato potpourri. Poiled spinach and cream. Ethan, don't forget don't for give her any sugar or honey. And no mushrooms. Oh. 
They grow up fast. Let's just enjoy it while we can. Mia makes everything by hand, so this stuff keeps piling up. Ho 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 ho, really? Food for the baby in here. You wanna eat with this kid? Once you're a big girl, we'll have a drink together, alright? No, don't be telling your kid you're gonna make her a drink. What's your issue? Crazy man. Hey! Keep it down. Just making sure it's locked. Huh. Is there so this so, uh, hmm. Your mama and I love this song so much. Yeah. 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 Get it? Yeah. Give it some? Yeah. Oh, I was supposed to set her down here, wasn't I? Oh, I mean, I'm just an idiot. There you go, sweetheart. Don't you worry. I'll be right downstairs. Daddy won't let those weird fairy tale monsters get you. Oh no, my phone's about to die. This is gonna be so unprofessional, but I gotta grab my charger, guys. So unprofessional. So unprofessional. -y. Y'all are going to be so upset with me. I'm going to get slandered down in the comment section. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're back in business, boys. Let's get back to it. I'm gone. I'm out this piece. I've dealt with you enough, baby, today. I'm out this piece. Don't talk to me, kid. Honey, I want a DNA test. I don't know if this kid is ours or not. Is she okay? Sleeping like a, well, like a baby. Mm, that smells good. What's that? Oh, hands off, mister. It's chorba de lagum. It's a local recipe. Wow, you've gone full native, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Local wine, too. But if you're gonna keep sulking all evening, maybe you shouldn't have any. You really have to stop worrying. It's just finding you in Louisiana, the pregnancy, Chris moving us here, military training, it all happened so fast, you know? Well, at least we're all together. You... Me, Rose. Now, everything's gonna Seriously, be... Seriously, think we can just forget about what happened in Louisiana? It happened so long ago. I just, I don't understand why you are so... <sighs> Mia, get down! Mia! Oh!
No, I've always liked Chris. Don't do this. That's fucked up. Hey, Doc. No problem. We'll be there. That was the doc. She'll see us next week. Hey, now. Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. I keep telling you, it's not Rose that I'm worried about. Well, then what are you worried about? Look. She's gonna be fine. I just know it. What else matters? We matter, Ethan! You matter! You just won't. Mia, what are you talking about? Is there something you're not telling me? Come on, talk to me. Yeah. I have to take this. Okay, well this is off with a big ass bang. Holy shite. Some came this way. Somebody's running around me. Is there? Oh, hello, crows. Shut up, crows. I don't like this at all. That was just somebody in front of me. 
What the fudge? Hello? 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 My name Georgie? Bloody rope, cool. Oh, lovely. Ooh, I don't like turning around pure darkness. Oh, that actually scared me. I don't like that fox at all. Is that a banana or a turd? It's a banana. Pull this bitch closer. Uh huh. That's cool. Um, don't know what, I don't really know what that was, but I like the witch that it was saying in the front of the game. Is that the witch? Something's behind me, isn't there? Can I look at the picture again? I'm gonna try to look at it, then actually go upstairs. Oh, shite. Oh, I didn't even notice that deer head before. Hello? Like that at all. Oof. What did all this? I don't know, I'd much rather not find out either. But I'm pretty sure we're gonna find out eventually. I'm in Dracula's domain, Castlevania. <laughs> what was that? Bag of trash? Ooh, dinner is served. Mmm, you look tasty. Thickums over here. What's a light? <gasps> you don't just open, you dumb thing. Maybe, maybe they're out. Hola. Como se llamo? Me llamo Patrick. Tú.
I don't like that at all. Who's there? Need some kind of other item? Who's there? I saw you run. I ain't afraid of you. I'm Ethan. I'm MF Ethan. You don't scur me. I'm a badass. But nobody's more of a badass than you know who. Resident Evil Prodigy. Resident Evil Prodigy. Leon S. Kennedy. There's more dead crows. I'm sorry, I don't need no crow on the diet for right now. I got some thick ass horse to eat. Hello? Anybody in here? Nobody in there? Okay. Apparently it's occupied. Dang. No decent place around here to use the restroom, man. What am I gonna do when I shite my pants? I'm just gonna have to pull it all out after in front of everybody? That's kind of crude, man, dude. What happened? Uh, something bad, apparently. Wait, what does that say? Graveyard Workshop Cemetery. Bro, I totally want to go to the graveyard. What is that? Is there singing? Oh, well, there's a letter. Locked due to missing homeowner. Oh, little bit of symbols. Kind of like home from Resident Evil 4. That's why everybody's been telling me it's somewhat like Resident Evil 4. Oh, I don't, I don't like that threshold right there. Um. Um, well, um, I'm going to end it right here, guys. Uh, a little shorter than what I was planning on, but uh, don't worry. We'll get back into it uh, here shortly uh, with another video. And uh, I'll try to make the other one about an hour long because this one was about, I want to say, about 40 something minutes. Either way, uh, I'll see you in the next episode. And I'm excited. See you, damn it.